A British woman who traveled to Korea in the 1920s left behind some drawings of how things looked in the nation back then. First introduced to the world in a book in 1946, they have since been republished. Kim bo Young tells us more. Colorful pictures depict the lives of Koreans during the 1920s. These pictures were drawn and painted by Elizabeth Kith, a British woman who was visiting Korea during the time of Japan's colonial rule. Elizabeth Kith came to Korea with her sister to travel, approximately a month after the March 1st independence movement in 1919. Attracted by the beauty of Korea, she decided to stay and record what she saw on canvas. She drew colored pictures such as the bride, the widow, and the school old style to give a glimpse into Korean culture and then published into a book in 1946 titled Old Korea. A former professor who translated kids' books into Korean says her book is a unique record of Korean culture in the 1920s. No one has depicted Korean people's lives with colors. Eastern paintings were all black and white. Because their paintings were so realistic to some researchers studying that time, they even played a role as evidence. Among other paintings the translator collected by himself, the highlight is the portrait of a man assumed to be Admiral Lee Sun Shin. Although it is up to the experts to figure out if it is really Admiral Lee Sun Shin, he says he's positive as no warrior at the time would have been able to hold a baton and dress as commissioned officer. Kobuk Sun, the so called turtle ships in the background, are another clue that it could be a painting of the famous naval leader. Elizabeth Keith always has drawn something in the background that signifies the person. For example, when she drew the princess in court dress, she put a dragon as she was a royal. When she drew the eunuch, she drew him as if he were in Gyeongbokgung Palace. Most pictures of the time only showed certain parts of society, but Elizabeth Kitt's drawings give readers an insight into all classes of society, especially the lives of women and children in Korea during that time. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.